I will be pranking Roje and Coleman exactly with this river. As you might know, they have blue shulker boxes under the lichen here. And I <laughs> wanna replace those with diamond blocks. Because come on, they look like diamond blocks. You gotta be you gotta be right. And I actually wanna make them diamond blocks now. So let's go. Okay, never mind. I'm not doing it because it's two. It would be two stacks of diamond blocks. I mean, I have two stacks of diamond blocks, but I need them for other things too. So, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just place them back. I thought it would be less, but yeah, placing two stacks of diamond blocks randomly here in this pond might not be the best idea financially. I might make it in the future, but yeah. Or you know what? I've got an idea what I want to make. I'm just gonna make a smiley right here, like this. I'm gonna make a smiley out of diamond blocks. Yes, this is a little better than... Oops. Oh, okay, that still stay. Wait, that still stayed on. Nice. Yeah, this is a little better. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna take the blue shulker boxes with me. I mean, I've paid triple the price for them, so... <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's... Uh, I guess that's sorted now. We now have the crafter on the Craftopia SMP. And I'm gonna replace all these chests right here with just two chests with the crafter. Because these are all slime balls and I wanna craft them into slime blocks. So let's go. Alright, perfect. That's done. It's really simple. Basically what we do here is we have the items going with a hopper into the crafter. And then if they land in the crafter and they become a full block, then this right here, this redstone clock, will just spit out the thing. Well, let me put more in here. Yes, then it just will spit out the block and then it lands down here. Hmm. But this doesn't seem to always work. Um, I might um, need a better redstone clock. Let me let me real quick do that. Maybe maybe this will work. Yeah, this will surely work. This redstone clock will be active more often, which might be not too good, but at least it works. Alright, let's see. And yeah. Okay, yep, it works. That's that's perfect. Yeah, ju just, you know, just two blocks bigger and one redstone component more, but yeah, this is perfect. Alright, that's done. I'm gonna build a, an automatic fuel input for my automatic smelter right here, which will be using the crafter. Okay, as you've probably guessed, this machine converts bamboo into bamboo blocks, into bamboo planks, and then uses it as the fuel right here for my furnace. Because I don't want to use all the coal all the time anymore. Yeah, this is pretty compact. I wouldn't say it's simple, but it's compact. You've probably seen me in the time-lapse trying to figure out how you know a way to make this the most compact and to make this work this is my first day of using crafters so don't don't flame me if you already have knowledge on them i have not played any snapshots but i i've read in the wiki how they work and i think you know i, I got it down all right uh those two were right here work pretty similar and also at the same time pretty opposite so basically right here it detects that there are eight items in here and this lectern here yes i love using lecterns and i also love using target blocks those two blocks are my two favorite redstone blocks i haven't never used lecterns before but now i am and i'm absolutely loving them i also love cal cauldrons if you 
but I haven't used them anywhere here. Damn, what a shame. Regardless, um, you just detect that there is a ninth item. Okay, well, let's actually start up here. Alright, so you detect that there are nine items in there if there are nine items in here it detects that and because here is a signal strength of nine this book has 15 pages which is perfect it could have in theory more and then it would divide um, by a certain thing but i just decided to you know make books that are 15 because that makes it the simplest if i want to do anything with redstone here i've got my books i've copied them yeah this just sends out a signal strength of nine and if this matches the signal strength of nine or would go above it but this won't go above it because it, uh, the maximum here is nine and then it deactivates this which deactivates that which activates the redstone torch which makes the thing the crafter drop the item into the dropper then it goes here this here will be a bamboo block in here for a split second then it will go back over here as a plank why is it a plank it is because it detects again if there are nine items in there because right now there are technically eight in there it sends out a signal strength of eight and this here is again set to nine which means this is one because you know minus and then if it's nine it goes to zero activates the lamp and then it's sent down again yeah right here you can see it's just a single strength for free anymore because there's six bamboo in here yeah i have a texture pack <laughs> uh, which makes you know some redstone things a little better where i can see the signal strength this is very useful especially for something like this yeah it's pretty cool i recommend building things like that in your base too i try to com keep it compact it isn't the best looking compared to the sheep farm right here i just you know i i made a whole building for the sheep farm but this thing is just standing right here floating in the air i don't know yet if i'll do anything about it i'll just i guess hey i will just keep it that way i also kept my shulker box on lower right here that way i just you know covered up a little bit of it you know the bottom part of it so yeah i'll just just keep that here and hope i mean i i made that look pretty decent didn't i oh yeah no never mind i'm not ending the video i'm gonna make a small sugar cane farm like this without the crafters just a sugar cane farm because i need some all right, let's go time lapse that. I have actually no idea where to place that at, but let's go. Yippee, okay, this is done now. I forgot to record the very start of it, but right here, down here, we have, you know, this little sugarcane farm. It works the same as the others. It converts the things into paper, which doesn't, you know, doesn't free up storage space or anything, but I just, you know, mainly need paper from this. I can, I mean, I can remove the crafter if I need some sugarcane itself, but, you know, this is pretty, pretty good, isn't it? I mean the place where it's at i mean i usually like to have my things above ground but hey let's let's be honest i i didn't really want to build anything for this and you know it's just a small sugarcane farm and i guess i'm and i i need some things underground anyways so this is something perfect for being you know here underground right here you can see it it adds a little more a little more depth to the to the island right here Thank you very much for watching, subscribe and goodbye. Here's a little footage of an excellent model to end of the video.